What is going on, Tenet Crew? It's your boy Billy the Squid, and the time for Chaos is coming to an end very soon. They extended out the trial version on PS5 until 26th, but I have put in an extensive amount of time in this game already. I think I've pretty well went over everything that I wanted to cover with this game. I think the only way to really close out this section of the Stranger of Paradise saga is to go ahead and give my final thoughts as well as go through the trial version of the game. So we are going to do just that now. So this video is going to kind of be laced together with me answering these survey questions as well as giving my reasoning for the answers that I am giving. How do you feel about your overall experience? I would say I am on the upper end. Satisfied, not very satisfied. The game was not perfect. There's definitely a few frustration factors in there. Ones being the AI not really doing much or doing way too much. They were either on Super Saiyan 10 or they were on like base Krillin. It, there was no in between. And I feel like even with like the Kingdom Hearts games or Final Fantasy 15, even if the NPCs that you're fighting with don't do a lot of damage and aren't like super impactful directly to the fight, they at least are good at drawing attention to them and away from you. And that's something that I think this game really, really needs. A lot of the mechanics that they want you to do, such as like anything with the Dragoon crit tree, you want to be able to backstab things. And it's very hard whenever an enemy is tracked onto you the entire time. Either the tracking needs to go down or they need to up the aggression levels towards the NPCs. Same thing with magic. It is very frustrating early in a mage like style build if you're constantly getting knocked out of your spells. And it's very un fulfilling to just constantly cast tier one spells because it's the same amount of mana as a tier three you want to be able to get that big damage those are the only real things that i think this game needs to like really zone in on everything else i think just with a little bit of polish will be very very good please select the difficulty we played it on hard how far into the game did you progress we made it all the way baby yeah 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 how satisfied are you with the character and equipment and graphics? Um, the graphics, they were okay. Uh, I understand that the characters were supposed to look generic. I like the outfits that they brought in with the different classes. There was a few things. It, it's, it's all a bit moot on, like, the color palettes. It's very one-dimensional as far as, like, the aesthetic goes, but I think that's kind of the point, at least with this starting section, so... I'm going to go ahead and say satisfied. It wasn't like mind blowing me away like what Final Fantasy 7 Integrate is, but it, it was it was passable. Uh, environment stages, I'm going to go ahead and put a neutral. Uh, the overall environment was very generic. It's just Chaos Castle, you know what I mean? Overall level design and game mechanics. I don't know why they lumped both of these into the same question. Level design, I'm more of a neutral on. But as far as game mechanics go, I am very satisfied. So I'm going to go ahead and slam it right on the satisfied. Again, level design, I like that there's a few like branching pathways. I like how they kind of... The environment manipulates around what you're doing. That being said, it is nothing that we haven't seen before. So I'm not oversold on that. That being said, I think the game mechanics have a lot of good things going for them. I like the parry system. I like the posture system. I like how the classes are rounding out with their class trees. I like the class progression going from a base to a uh, expert class. I think that's all very good and really brings back that Final Fantasy 1 vibe, just like how the fighter would turn into the warrior and stuff like that in that game. So that's where my thoughts are on that. Abilities and systems. Okay. How satisfied were you with the action and abilities available? Uh, I'm very satisfied. I think they went like this is where the demo thrived. I think a lot of the abilities were very useful. In different situations i liked how they did with the mage stuff lightbringer mode is dope there's a few of the buffs that i can't see really getting much use out of but that's going to be any game everything's going to have a different play style that it caters to some of them just didn't cater to mine i think they were very good satisfied with the overall battle systems that is again a very satisfied um my only complaints about the battle systems is based around enemy ai as far as the characters and stuff go or at least jack goes very, very satisfied. Very, very good. I love the break gauge mechanic. I think it is very good, and I like how it sinks into you getting mana. I like 
that you have to work to build up your resources before you're able to just berserk through things. And if you die, you have to kind of reset that thing. I did figure out, by the way, that if you die, you lose your mana bars. But if you build your mana bars back up, then there won't be anything to pick up whenever you get back there. So that's why sometimes I would die and there wouldn't be a red stain. Sometimes I would die and there would be. So that, I think, is neat. What is your impression of the Soul Burst gameplay mechanic? I mean, it kind of goes with the break gauge, but I think what they're meaning here is how it ties into your mana system, and with which I am very satisfied. I think that, again, makes this game unique. I think that is going to be the driving mechanic moving forward, is maintaining mana to make sure that you're able to pump out as much offensive power as possible, especially with Lightbringer mode burning it off. You're constantly in a need of building it back up. Soul Shield, I love the parry system. I'm going to go ahead and put a very satisfied there. I like what they did with it. I think it also ties in well with the mana system. It's very good. And Lightbringer mode is amazing. Um, it's a good mechanic where if an enemy just has a lot of health points and you want to go a posture war with them, this makes it very much more doable so that they don't constantly build it back up. I like the posture burn mechanic to that. It's very good. Which jobs did you feel were easy to use and mo or most fun to use? Um, Greatsword, as far as weapons go. Can I click multiple? Um, so I didn't like the mace very much. Uh, the spear needs work. I like its moveset. It's, it's very fun because it has the directional inputs. But the crit mechanic, I guess that's more along the Lancer and Dragoon line. I found them underwhelming. Uh, Warrior, Black Mage, Mage and Sword. The Lancer and Dragoon jobs need looked at again. I think they could be very good. And the Mace is just underwhelming, but I have a feeling that's just because the Mage and Black Mage aren't meant to be relying on it. So, Which did you find were difficult to use? We'll just go ahead and do the inverse of that. I kind of explained it already. How satisfied were you with the progression systems? Uh, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, the only things that I would like more with the progression systems is more impactful stuff. I understand stat boosts are going to be fillers in skill trees from now until the end of time. Um, and the R2 abilities into your combos are very, very nice. I just, I like more. I like more interactivity with my progression, so... The armor system has a good level of progression with that. I do like the kind of loot grindy nature of that. It doesn't seem like it's overly grindy, but if you do want to get like a min-maxed gear set, there's there's room for that to happen. How satisfied were you with the hack and slash treasure hunt gameplay? Um, I like it. Um would I say it's a game changer? No, but I am satisfied with it. I would say you know, we're just going to go ahead and with the neutral. Gear hunting, it didn't impact my playstyle as much as I would have liked. I wasn't getting that, oh wow, that's a good piece of gear vibe. I'm sure I'll get that later in the game, but as far as the demo goes, it was it was nice, but it wasn't as impactful as a lot of the other things in the game. So I'll give it a neutral for now. How did you feel about game balance with minor enemies such as goblins and bombs? I'm um, satisfied again. The tracking just needs worked on. Specifically related to minor enemies, how do you feel about the overall battle float or progression as well as overall number of enemies? Again, very good. Actually, I'll go with a very satisfied. I think the, uh, the mob layouts were very, very good. Especially with the room full of wolves. I think that was a nice little challenge piece. And then the three butthole portals of darkness that were spewing out enemies. I liked that set piece as well. How do you feel about the game balance when fighting the boss in the deepest reaches of the dungeon? Um, Garland is an amazing fight. I like that a lot. There's a lot of mechanics that I think are good. You can go at a parry war with him, which I did most of the time in his phase one. I liked how phase one and phase two were significantly different from one another, only showing like two moves. Um, that's really good. I like that you can interact with his buff ability. So when he goes and does flame blade, you can turn it off. When he does Ice Blade, you can hit him with a charged up Fyra or Fyraga, and it will also break his Ice Blade. A lot of good mechanics there. Um, overall difficulty was very high. I found him very difficult. It might just be because I'm not used to the game, but I like that kind of a challenge. It was very, very good to me. 
How satisfied were you with the game's music and sound effects? Sound effects were great. Music was great. Like, it's a Final Fantasy game, so the soundtracks are always going to be on point. I will say, though, I it, none of them are songs that got stuck in my head. Uh, most Final Fantasy games have that one track that just, like, pounds into your brain and does not let go. I didn't get that here. I'm sure I'll get that in the later version. But, uh, yeah, I liked how the music was kind of a techno-y, steampunkish style like interlaced with the high fantasy style it was a good it was a good blend i did enjoy it how do you feel about information that was displayed on screen during battle i'm assuming they mean like hud elements like enemy health enemy posture your health your posture um attacks being thrown out um it's good uh the only thing i would say they need to do better is i think the unblockables are very very shown off the enemy glows in a red aura. The text is in a red aura. That's good. I think they are, might need to be a little more lead up on some of the other attacks, such as like the ones that you can grab and then throw back. Uh, it seemed like they were very split seconds. So maybe that might just be a growing pain and you'll be more likely to recognize an enemy's movement to be able to parry and grab those attacks than what the text says. But it might make it a little bit more accessible for new players to have that. Um, for a colorblind person, it was great. I don't know if there's going to be environments later that are going to change that, but the big glowy red aura around people did not bother my protonopia one bit. Was there any info you would like to see that was not present? Um, I would love a bestiary, honestly. Uh, multiple answers accepted, yeah. Let's just go ahead with all of these because I am of the mindset that let like more is better. If you can give me a bestiary, that's awesome. I would I know that they're going to be adding um, the ability for you to equip your allies and stuff like that. So this is going to happen, but I still want it. And uh Oh wait, this is UI specifically. I'm still going to click it all. I like more information, and if they have a toggle system where you can turn all that stuff off, that's the best of both worlds. You can have your minimalist, minimalists enjoying the minimalist look at it. You can have people that want a full bar like an MMO. You can have that too. How, available were, how satisfied were you with the available information on the menu screens? The menu screens were a bit of a mess. Um, I'm going to put a neutral for that one. They got all the info there, but it wasn't all very intuitive. There was a few menus that you had to cycle through to actually get to stuff. I think they could have broken up the battle settings menu into, a, like, its own, like, separate categories, like gear, jobs, like, stuff like that, I think, could have been better. But Square's never been the best about their menus. They're always a bit convoluted, so I don't see that changing too much, but I would like to see it change. Was there any information you would like to see that wasn't present? Um... Equipment details, ability details. I mean, most of the stuff was present. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click it all because, like I said, less, like more is more. And if you want a minimalist look, as long as they have a way to toggle it off, I am fine with that. Uh, the tutorial sucked. The tutorial wasn't a great time. It didn't really teach you anything. I would have rather than thrown you into the dungeon directly and then had the little tutorial messages pop up kind of like what they did with the final fantasy 7 remake in the beginning like give me something impactful don't just put me in a field spawning enemies on me and tell me oh you got to do this before you can succeed no it's garbage get it out of here make it better it's not the worst demo that i've seen or tutorial that i've seen uh outriders takes that cake but it was it was just very bad were there additional elements you would have liked to have seen in the tutorial um yeah, yeah, I would have liked to have seen at least Lightbringer. Lightbringer being as impactful as it is, I feel like they could have definitely went forward with that. Um, we'll go ahead with the Soul Burst as well. I think those are the biggest things. Uh, which type of games do you enjoy playing? I enjoy playing doo -doo -doo -doo, the Dark Souls series. I like Western Action Adventure. I've dabbled in a little bit of uh, Genshin Impact. I do like a hack and slash as well. Although I wouldn't say Diablo is a hack and slash. That might just be me. I'm thinking more Devil May Cry, stuff like that. Um, And a little bit of Apex. And JRPGs. 
Yeah, that pretty well does it for me. Yeah. How did you hear about the demo? I saw it at E3. So we'll go ahead with uh, website and YouTube and TV radio. Uh, bah, 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 mass media, YouTube, manufacturer, games media. Yeah, 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 yeah. There were any areas of the game that you enjoyed in particular, or areas of the game which you have feedback, please include them below. I'm going to type this out with the controller because I have to. So I will be back once I get this message typed out, and I'll explain my final thoughts on the game. Be right back. Whew. I hate using controllers for typing, but here are my final thoughts. The game has a lot going for it. Enemy tracking seems a bit too strong, and by that I mean... There's no opportunity for you to actually circle around or get behind enemies. They tend to follow you very heavily, and their tracking on their attacks tends to, like, 360 and stuff like that. It's just a bit overtuned for my liking, for what I think a lot of the uh, the game would want. And it makes the Dragoon job very hard to use. I think that's my biggest disappointment, is that the backstab crit mechanic with that job is just underutilized because of how good the tracking is and how poor the AI aggro is. As I explained here, makes it hard to use mechanics such as crit and some casting. Ally AI is lacking. They either solo an enemy or do nothing or are dead. All very true things. Um, they either are powerhouses and I turn around and something staggered on the ground crying. Or they're dead or they're just standing around saying, Yeah, we got a jack on our hands. Uh, I don't want them to carry, but maybe giving them more aggro draw would make group encounters less frustrating and give more ways for the Lancer and Dragoon to thrive in their crit-centered playstyle. Um, the particular encounter I'm talking about is the three portals fight where there's a bunch of bats, there's a few gobos, there's some wolves, and it does get a little hectic. If you're not using the warrior or like spamming Lightbringer mode to knock enemies away, it does get very chaotic and it feels a little bit unfair at times, especially if you're trying to use like mage exclusively or a more single target focused thing like the dragoon it makes it a bit hard overall very happy final boss was excellent which he was garland an amazing fight they did a really really good job with it and jobs when they work feel great i i genuinely think this is going to be a great game i'm very excited to see how they do it and ninja theory has always been great about taking fan input and implementing it into final products so i'm very excited to see how they do with this one but that concludes the uh, little survey for the Stranger Paradise Final Fantasy Origin demo. We will be covering this more when more info comes out on it. If another demo comes out, we'll be definitely playing into that. But if you like the video, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you are interested in more Stranger Paradise stuff or Souls-like stuff in general, also check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Billy underscore the underscore squid. Final Fantasy and Souls-likes abound there. Much love, Tenacrew. Bye-bye.